Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting One Stroke Painting today. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start picking out my red. And you will notice that some of the glass and the metal pieces I've done, I put a little bit of orange to make it pop. But this is a fun, easy flower to work with if you do a few little things. I'm going to use this. What I want you to see is I'm using this pure orange instead of a white. Because when we put white and red together, we're going to get pink. And there are pink geraniums. But what I'm going to do here is use the orange so I get some, some vivid color. On the metal, I used Folk Art Multi-Service Apple Red. On this, I'm using the Engine Red. So I'd like you to put like, this is that spot's where I'm going to go to. And I'm going to do like a teardrop. See that? It's a little teardrop. But what I like with the geraniums is sometimes to give just a little bit of a, a motion. And they're not supposed to be perfect. It's going to be hard for some of you who like to do every stroke perfect. And I think it looks a little bit more natural when you're a little looser. So every petal doesn't have to be exactly alike. I'm going to do one more slow. So I'm going to put some of different sizes because sometimes they're just opening up. And sometimes they're little side views. See that? I just came up like that into it. Just like the leaf. There's the back. There's the front. All right, and see how the orange just gives you some bright color. Now, one thing I like to share with you, can you see the green through this? Red is a transparent color when we're working. And so the thing I do, see how, how that's showing through? Sometimes I'll let that dry and I will come back and just lay some more on there. All right. Because if I put some white, I usually put a little bit of white and then it becomes opaque. So some colors that are not as transparent is like a yellow ochre. And that would still be okay with your red. So see how fast that starts going? Now what I like to do is come out here and just do a few little pieces to make. It's kind of like a, a round ball effect. You can see I made that one really big, so I can put a couple out here. All right, so isn't that fun? So real quick, I'm going to put the little detail that makes these really nice. Let me show you that. See how I'm going to just come in, layer some in the back. Okay. See how loose I'm doing? I'm not trying to, and then just, I'm not trying to make everything perfect. Then what's going to happen with some of the ones in front? I can do more detail, okay? Now, what's gonna happen here is you're gonna come back and put some little centers